Hey guys, it's Nutcase, and today's video is the December Patreon reward video. So this month for Patreon, I ended up doing two prints and a four inch sticker instead of a three inch sticker, just as a way to give back to my Patreon supporters who have been, you know, supporting me all year and everything. Um, but yeah, so my previous video uh, a week or so ago was the character design sheet for this character named Kika, who is a Krampus. Um, so yeah, the both of the illustrations are of her, and I'm really happy with how they came out. Um, you may have noticed on the finished ref sheet that this image that is being drawn right now, the finished image of this, was also on there because I wanted to give an example of like the full outfit, but as a headshot just kind of on there. But yeah, for my, I guess, 600 subscribers right now, um, you guys may have noticed that I didn't upload Saturday, and I'm very sorry about that. Um, I had planned to do, to do my recording um, for Saturday's video, Wednesday before, uh, heading to bed to get ready for my convention that I would fly out for on Thursday. Um, things came up and I didn't get to record that and so that's also why this video isn't um, at my normal time. It's being released here on Wednesday when it's actually being released, but it's not at noon. It's whenever I get it exported and can actually upload it. So I'm actually recording this voiceover uh, December 5th um, and it's 2.44 p.m. Eastern time right now. So we'll see how long it takes for me to actually get it exported and uploaded and everything. But uh, again, I'm very sorry about the delay. I just, yeah, December has been crazy so far with the convention and whatnot. Uh, my husband and I are still looking for houses right now and we're really trying to get on the ball about that because we have until, uh, I think it's the 27th of March to either find a home and get moved in or find a new apartment because I really don't want to stay here anymore but uh depending on what happens we may end up having to renew our lease which I really don't want to but we may have to but I'm not sure that's why we're still trying to get everything in order uh I've had a lot of family issues happening uh, that have also been kind of stressing me out. So if you guys interact with me online and you notice that I'm stressed out, know that it's not you <laughs> and it is external factors besides the internet. Um, actually, it's a lot of the interactions I had at the convention and online and stuff and the support that you guys show me that keeps me grounded and not stop doing what I love because I get so stressed out because of other stuff. So yeah, <laughs> thank you guys for, even if it's just the 600 of you that are subscribed to my channel watching my video, it means a lot to me that you guys choose to do that and to the people who support me on Patreon who are getting this, these two prints and the sticker this month, you know, you guys make it easier for me as well and I get to do cool stuff like this and design cool characters and whatnot and I'm just very grateful I have that outlet and I have such a cool like may it may be small but my followers are very nice and supportive and I've seen them being supportive to other people as well and it just makes me very happy so and I'm sorry to get emotional but again um <laughs> Yeah, I've just been going through a lot of stuff, both, you know, mentally and with family stuff, so it's hard sometimes. But it's nice to have a outlet to uh, channel some of my frustrations and stuff, being that my art and everything. So, yeah, it's actually really interesting. I remember when I first started doing art as a living, I was told by numerous people that because... Uh, it was going to become my job, and it is my job, that I would lose passion for it. And I have to say that that is quite the opposite. <laughs> and since I've started doing it as a living, I feel like I have more passion for it and more passion for other creators and just making art that isn't just 
art to just make something, but making something that makes me feel something as well. Uh, the good example of that is if you follow me on Twitter, I uh, did a fan art today as my warm-up for The Unexpectables, and I got a lot of positive uh, replies to it. I guess it's not all positive. <laughs> it, it, it's positive and it is what the emotion I wanted to m like make people feel when seeing it. So, and if you follow the show, if you follow The Unexpectables, uh, I'd hope that you would also feel the same way that I did when making it. And so, like, things like that, getting to have that outlet to make something that does create, you know, it, it elicits a feeling of something when somebody looks at it. So, yeah, <laughs> it's nice to do that, and it's not in, like, the traditional sense. It's not like a painting, it's not like a thing in a gallery that, like, you know millions of people go to see, but the few thousand followers that I have on Twitter, even if, you know, less than a handful have some kind of emotional reaction to a piece that I've put my heart and soul into, because I did, <laughs> I put that in there this morning, um, yeah, I'm glad that I can do that, and I feel like this has become a very cheesy voiceover, and I don't know why I'm so emotional today. Am I because I did have a very good experience at the convention and just getting to meet people and seeing old friends and stuff and I don't know. But uh, yeah. Might just be because I'm stressed too. <laughs> but even so, um, I really enjoyed how both of these pictures came out for uh, December and I put a lot of thought into them and I put a lot of uh, design ideas into them like I wanted to kind of make the first one just look like a kind of classic looking bust that I've done before but this one I kind of wanted it to look like a uh, out in the wilderness kind of card that like the the, uh, like, Krampus would actually be part of, instead of, like, Kika isn't a, like, harsh Krampus, she doesn't punish people, but, like, I wanted to do the picture that kind of elicits that feeling, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it really did that, but, uh, I like how it came out, at least, and I really did work on a background, and I tried to, you know, make an environment around her and not have her just kind of like on a background just like stick her on a background I've been really wanting to work on that where I don't just like do a flat background I want it to be something that feels like it's part of the image and feels like the character is part of it and I feel like I did do that with this picture so yeah <laughs> I'm still working on it I'm still working on my backgrounds and that was one of my goals for this year so if nothing else there's that at least I've feel like I'm doing better at it, so yeah. Uh, the December pen I actually debuted at the convention that I went to, and it was a smashing hit. Um, I sold most of them that I took and traded a couple. Uh, I didn't but take ten with me, and so I think uh, I came home with none of them because I traded the couple that I did have, which... Uh, I do like doing. I really like doing pen trades with people as we're uh, like at cons and stuff. Um, I've grown wary of doing pen trades over the internet now, but uh, yeah. <laughs> you guys might have noticed a little something different with this picture too. I've started doing a layered thing on top of my full colored pictures to try and just get like what I can't get with like the line art and shading and stuff. Like you can see here with the little hairs and stuff. And so I just do a layer on top of everything, just touching up the little things that I want to touch up, just to kind of do what I want it to look like. And I think it's really started to pull some of my pull some of my pieces together and make them look complete better. And yeah, but yeah. Uh, with that, I would like to thank all of my Patreon supporters for this month. You guys are great. And I hope you guys are looking forward to your mail, uh, depending on what level you guys backed at. 
Some of you are getting pins and art and stickers. And then some are just getting prints and stickers. And some of you just support to support. And I'm thankful for whatever level you've chosen to do. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!